This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Tonight. Hello, everybody. How are you? It is uh, Thursday, and uh, here we go with yet another show coming your way over GabNet or whatever GabNet is. I, I've, I've ceased to even want to promote all of this. Okay, that's me. All right. Anyway, hi. How are you? Hmm. I got food stuck in my teeth. Uh, I should have brushed my teeth before I came on the air. I, that's the one thing I always do before I go on the air, and I forgot to do that tonight. So I'm going to have to do it later before I go to bed. All right. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, it is uh, Thursday, and either Wednesdays or Thursdays, we have our, uh, uh, our program infested by a guy by the name of Phil Meyer, uh, who uh, is uh, a regular caller to this program, has been for, God, I don't know how many years. Uh, how many years has it been? Do you know? Uh, hmm? Are you there? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, here. yeah. I yeah. said, how many years I has it been? that? talk you... until you acknowledge me. I did. I just acknowledged you. I said, how long have we, we been working? How long have you been calling this show? Uh, since the beginning, I guess... Um... Right after you stop the uh, video. Really? Uh, yeah. So, oh, it was stop the video. Yeah, the uh, when you were going to the TV station. Oh, you you didn't call then. I don't think so. Oh, okay. So that would be. Uh, I right. might have called once uh, just to uh, reunite with you. Uh, I, I think uh, Marjorie answered the phone, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, yeah, I called in, I, I think, yeah. once. You didn't have a lot of callers uh, when you were doing that, did you? Yes, I did. We had yeah. Tony used to call it. and uh, Who do you call it? Uh, well, then then uh, maybe I did. Patrick would call it. You know. oh, then, I, then I probably called. But uh, that was uh, when I rediscovered you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So how have you been doing? Um, well, I am COVID-free at the moment. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping to stay that way. Right. Uh, right. I'm I'm wearing a mask a little bit more in public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if I'm if I'm going to go into a, a high risk kind of spot. Well, but, I think when people come into your store, you probably should put on a mask. No. That's probably how you got it. Uh, no, you know, I think I got it from my uh, my trainer. Uh, the, uh, one morning I, I looked and his nose was running and I said, are you sick? And he says, oh no, no. And, uh, then he took the next Thursday off. So that was a Monday. He took that Thursday off. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and then at that point I'd already, uh, then I came down with it. Yeah. And, um, so they, they have a podcast, the owners of the gym mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, I had, I had mentioned everybody this... has a podcast, Phil. I want you to know that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Um, well, that that's the new way of communicating. I mean, you know, no, it is. It, it, it's a podcast. lousy, it's a lousy form of communication. Uh, it gets out to a lot of people. No, 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 no. It's a lousy form of communication. I'll tell you why. Basically, yeah. because people do it for their own egos. Uh, and not not to not to do something that is trying to do something for people, okay? Trying to entertain them, trying to make their day better or happier. They're just there saying, "Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I've got so well, many views! I got so many views! I'm, I'm an influencer." Well, that that is the um, uh, the dopamine of Facebook and Twitter and these other things where you get likes and hearts and things like that. Mm -hmm. And people are addicted to that. Whereas, uh, in, there are some people that are actually out to put out a very good product, 
for instance, I sent you a, a thing on grief, and I think you might have watched it, Andrew Uberman, no. because you, you had mentioned uh, one or two points uh, uh, in, an, in, a, in Monday's show, I think, mm -hmm. uh, or yesterday's show. No, I didn't look, uh, I didn't look at it. No. Well, Andrew Uberman is a uh, Stanford professor, mm -hmm. and he uh, really puts out r fantastic information. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is uh, that is genuinely good. I mean, I I, I I enjoy what I hear from him. A lot of it has to do with fast, intermittent fasting, exercise, uh, and, and so forth. But he put put together that one on grief, which you know was a very interesting uh, podcast. What do I know to know, What do I need to know about grief? Well, exactly what you said uh, yesterday, which is. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it has to do, the, the, the tougher it is for us to deal with grief depends on uh, how close we were to the people or pets or uh, mm -hmm. things that we lose. Mm -hmm. And, and we're, we, we go through different stages, which is pretty standard. It's just that uh, the, uh, we miss we miss those people, uh, and uh, yeah, sometimes. What, what, what's, he, what's he saying that I don't know already? Well, I'm sure you knew it. It's just that sometimes it's good to hear it again, to where uh, you, you can. Uh, it's it's more cathartic that way. Uh, you know, I don't need somebody else to share my, you know, to help me deal with well, my grief. You know, that's because you're so smart. No, it's not because <laughs> I'm so smart. It's because I, you know, I mean. I, I have to deal with it, and I'm dealing with it, or trying to at least. You know, every day presents a new problem. Well, you know, I mean, um, you know, things that I might have called Shecky about, and he's not there for me to call him. Mm -hmm. You know, no, and, and I, I and, still and, go and, through and, the same things with another friend of mine that passed away about five years ago. Uh, you know, I miss being able to chat with him on the phone and things like that. But uh, the reason I say that you could get something from it is that uh, I look at things like a magic trick. Have you ever seen that trick where there's a ball and three cups and, uh, and you know a lot about magic and you know the answer to that trick, which is the ball is not really under any of the cups. It's in the guy's hand. And, uh, well, so, it eventually is under the cup when he reveals the cup. Right, because he gets it under there. Yeah. Uh, so, but once you understand the the basis of that trick you can never be fooled and so when it comes to this grieving or any of these other types of things understanding what you're going to go through and and hearing it and knowing the answer to the trick you're not going to be but fooled. i don't need somebody else to tell me all that or some stranger to tell me how to cope with my grief well you would you would said that uh for instance uh, the information and knowledge that Shecky had died with Shecky. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I thought about that and I said, you know, there are people that have lived and touched this world, whether it's Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci, uh, who have left their mark on, on the world mm -hmm. and have helped. That knowledge has, has been given to us mm -hmm. over centuries and uh and and it can't be taken away so we get one we get one opportunity to uh to, to give to the world and to and to make our mark and mm -hmm. he your friend shecky made that mark with you and mm -hmm. and you will remember him uh until the day you die so mm -hmm. uh, you know, Nothing lives on forever. I guess that's why people buy mausoleums and and uh, well, they, they, uh, people. They, um, uh, this is why schools, people. Well, they don't let's go back. Let's, let's go hospitals. back. Let's go back further than that. That's why people built pyramids, right? Is they wanted a, a commemoration that they were there and they made their mark. In that case, it lasted through the centuries. That's sure. why we bury people and we put a tombstone on their grave and why we build a mausoleum to put them in or whatever. Uh, but, you know, uh, all you leave behind are the memories that reside in other people. And, yeah. you know, so whatever. And uh, and I think that's a positive thing. And, it, you know, it, it by seeing that there is an end, there's a beginning, there's a middle and there's an end. 
And, you know, we don't know when that end's going to come, but we're able to um, to accept it, I guess, or yeah. at least I'm able to um, more uh, accept what's going yeah. on well, and, you know. and deal with it. But I, I, there are too many people going, oh, well, I'll tell you how to deal with grief. Here, listen to me, you know. And I mean, come on, there's only one way to deal with grief. Deal with it, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I understand. And uh, if that's the way you want to deal with it, hey, uh, you know, so be it. And it's not going to be me that tells you one way or well, another. Just, I you know, just sent you something it, I thought just, could help. Yeah, yeah, well, it's very nice of you to do that. I just, you know, that's just not my cup of tea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because uh, you drink coffee. Yeah, you know, some guy tells you how to cleanse your colon. You know, you know. <laughs> you know I get my advice from him. Yeah. Anyway, so um, so what else is new? Anything? Well, uh, have you been following the uh, the bank uh, the bank uh, failure and uh, the uh, the two banks uh, and possibly uh, Credit Suisse mm -hmm. and Republic Bank? I, I think there's going to be a lot of banks that are going to mm -hmm. fail. This is all brought Biden's fault, of course. No, oh. uh, this. Uh, you know, they reduced regulations uh, for these banks, uh, and they... Who did? I guess they, uh, well, I would imagine it'd be the Fed. When? Uh, it doesn't matter when. When? It well, you're trying matter. to get me to say that it was during the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, the president really doesn't have any power over the Fed. It's an ind independent... Uh, organization. I think you can get rid of the person who's the head of the Fed, though. Um, I think not, not easily. Mm -hmm. And I think that the same person that Trump appointed was the same person that uh, Biden appointed. Is it Powell? Powell. Yeah. Well, who Who's the head of the Fed? Uh, Yellen. Yellen. Yeah. No, I yeah. think she's new. I think she's new. Uh, um, I don't remember uh, what Powell's position was. Uh, but I believe he, uh, he has something to do with it as well. Uh, Powell? Powell. P-O-W-E-L-L, -L, I think. P -O -W -E -L. Powell? Powell? But who? Powell? Yeah. I don't know Powell who you're talking about. Oh, all right. Well, I see the guy in the news. Uh, okay. Well, now, do you want to talk about banks, or do you want to talk about our drone being uh, taken down by a Russian uh, uh, fighter jet? And... Uh, or do you nothing, talk about nothing controversial there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, but if you add up these things, uh, we've had cyber attacks that they're saying is coming from the Chinese. We've had uh, 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 the Chinese trying to uh, give weapons uh, and and so and and in things to the to Moscow uh, that are trying to perpetuate the war that's going on in Ukraine. Uh, I I just see the 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 world is in turmoil right now, and uh, you know that's something that we didn't really have to the to this level under Trump. You know, well because we, it didn't come to a head under Trump because Trump was kissing Putin's ass. Well, maybe that's what it took to keep. No, well, peace. well, I'm sorry. You know, he was going to do this anyway. He. Uh, uh, you know, Trump would kiss his ass, kiss his ass, kiss his ass, and he'd still go into into Ukraine. The only difference is that probably Trump wouldn't have said anything. Uh, I I don't think I don't think the uh, uh, that there would have been an attack on Ukraine. Well, I think Trump there would have been. Power. I think there would have been. I think there yeah. absolutely would have been because that was the best possible opportunity for Putin because he had this guy who was kissing his ass. Yeah, but as long as he uh, continued to keep a dialogue, uh, no, but there, there, were, there was never a dialogue. You either, you know, went in and uh, I mean, Putin knew how to play Trump like a well-tuned violin. All you do is compliment him, compliment him, compliment him, and he'll let you get away with murder. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, I know about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, TikTok. Uh, who do you think is going to buy it? I don't think anybody. I don't know if anybody's going to buy it. Well, it says here that uh, that um, I think it is irres I think it is wrong of Biden and the whole administration to go this apoplectic over TikTok. Well, you know uh, what I heard. This is what I heard. I heard okay. an actual 
person, I think, either in government or in the military, yeah, speaking before uh, a committee, mm-hmm. uh, when on the TikTok committee, whatever committee that is. And he said, well, you know, uh, 40 million people a day get their news from TikTok. What's wrong with that statement? Uh, there are 50 million people watching TikTok? No, no. Uh, Have you tell- ever, you want me to go through TikTok right now, find one news item? Yeah, there isn't how, any. How, no, there's no news on TikTok, and yet they were, he was saying, and you know, they get all their news through TikTok, and they can start putting in Chinese propaganda. No, not unless you want a bunch of Bengalese kitties well, uh, what there's- uh, wearing Mao hats. Yes, but you what know. the military is saying and what the government was saying is that TikTok is on uh, government-owned devices, phones, and, and, and computers, and uh, they don't want it no, on there. No, 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 but, it's feel- not, but that's not where, that, that's, it's going further than that now. Biden, yeah. Biden is asking for them to have their Chinese uh, uh, business partners uh, sell off their shares in TikTok, and then they'll let it, be run in America. Well, they're telling these people that, you know, they have to choose who their investors are. As long as they're not compromising that material, and they claim they're not uh, compromising, wait a minute, not compromising the people, I, uh, you know, I'll take them at their word in that, you know, and plus, I just don't see what the danger is if you have TikTok on your phone. So they know about me, big fucking deal. Yes, but uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep uh, government information, military information from being siphoned back through a back door. Yeah, but here's how, here's how all the news gets manipulated. Okay, we had this, you mentioned the drone earlier that was right. shot down, but not shot down, but uh, it was forced. pissed to, on and, and, then, and then they clipped the clipped tail. It. Yeah, yeah. And it went into the, the Black Sea. Okay, right. all right. Uh, then all of a sudden we're going... That's not right. That's irresponsible. What's irresponsible about it? It's a goddamn drone. There's nobody in it. What's irresponsible about it? Okay. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, you know, having some kid's kite go into the neighbor's yard and saying, you took my kite and you won't give it back. You know, I mean, come on. These are drones. There's nobody in them. uh, Well, it was a $14 million drone. I don't care. Does money matter? Does yes, money matter? But, then why are you spending fourteen million dollars on something that can be shot down? Well, this was in an in international water, and uh, or international airspace, and uh, so the, so we the, say the Russians say it wasn't. Well, uh, I guess the Russians also uh, flew past it for about thirty or thirty-five minutes, uh, strafing it, and uh, they weren't strafing and, it. Hmm? They weren't strafing it. Yeah, they were strafing it with the planes. That's how the one no, they, plane hit they, the they, rear propeller. The, when you're strafing it, you're shooting at it. That's uh, the term uh, strafing is shooting you, at you, it. You know, you're not flying past it. You're and, fall, flying uh, past it, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. yeah. That, and, and that's not strafing? The, no, that's not strafing. Strafing is when you're shooting bullets at it. Okay, I thought it was uh, this sort of a harassment, like you strafe the deck of a uh, of, of a of a ship. Yeah, you'd be uh, shooting this. You should be shooting at the ship if you were strafing it. Uh, well, uh, so what the what the situation is with the with the drone is it's similar to the situation with the Chinese balloons mm-hmm. uh, that that the Americans shot down, mm-hmm. and uh, you know I I think that. You know, except this well, is yeah, Russian we shot balloon. down their balloon. Why can't they shoot down our drone? Oh, I guess their balloon isn't worth as much as our drone, and so well, it's all it's all down to money. Yeah, well, uh, the balloon is is uh, might have been uh, not a weather balloon, and it might have been gathering intelligence. Oh yeah, sure. Well, what's this stuff over Hawaii that the Chinese are using lasers and it's sort of a preemptive, a preemptive attack? I don't, know. I don't know. I haven't heard about that. Oh, okay. Well, because uh, I don't, I don't watch, using, I don't watch Fox, so I don't. Uh, get well, that. they've been using lasers from space and they've been uh, putting these lights down on uh, on Hawaii, and uh, so what they're saying is it's sort of like preparing for a preemptive. Uh, uh, a, attack on uh, Hawaii like the Japanese did. Uh, 
And who is say, who is promulgating that co- cockamamie theory? I don't know. Yeah, I Where, where'd you hear it? Where'd you hear it? I, I oh, most likely I, I saw it on yeah. Fox. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very reliable, you know. Yeah, well, uh, I gather they're uh, they're having some problems because of this Dominion suit. Oh, a little, uh, little few problems with the Dominion suit. Absolutely. Yeah, like well, even even people who were fans of theirs are, are going away. That's true, but I have I have a there's a buying opportunity here. Gabnet can buy Fox probably at a, a big discount, uh, and you can increase your viewership. Yeah, but I don't want it. Ah. So anyway, just let, the let, offer. Let me just <laughs> let me just show you something. I got to tell you, uh, I, I got to tell you when you when you want to shoot video, the best almost the best thing you can shoot video with is yeah. this. Okay, well, an, an iPhone. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Depends it, on the light. Yeah. Oh, it's really great. It's really great. Yeah. And this thing, you can zoom with it and everything, you know. But I mean, mm-hmm. the 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 uh, they have something like forty one megapixels or something in these now. Okay. Really? Yeah. And you can shoot just some great video with these. I've done some some of my videos with this phone. Okay. So this mm-hmm. is one of my methods of uh, of doing video. And then my other, oh, hold on a second, damn it, I hate it when the flat light goes on on my phone. Uh, let me see here. Then, of course, this is my other favorite. Sure, the GoPro. The GoPro. This thing, really, it has, all, it has stabilization, and it mm-hmm. has, turns out a great picture. The only problem with it is, is that you can't zoom with it, you know, and you can't, while it's, you can change um, uh, from you know wide angle to just telephoto, other things, but you have to stop the camera first before doing it. Um, so where's your red? And so today I went out and bought this. Did you get a red? No, no. Reds are too oh. expensive. Sony. Uh, which one is that? The this A1. Is a, this is Sony VX10. Okay. And it's Does a it's a, have a it, removable it, lens. It, it, yes, this one has a removable lens. That's why I bought this model. Uh, in fact, I bought a second lens that I'm getting tomorrow. That's a wide angle lens because this thing is 16 to 20, 16 to 50 zoom. That is kind mm-hmm. of the standard kit lens that it comes yeah. with. Uh, well, but man, it's it's uh, it's a little beauty, and it's got like you know uh, the. Uh, is it about 50 uh, megapixels. Uh, here you go. There you go. You know. Wow. I can turn it on uh, here. You can see the Sony's uh, video capability is is really fantastic. Yeah, and this is uh, the 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 4K out of this. Most people are doing videos for what they call vlogging mm-hmm. with this particular uh, camera. Uh, so you know it's uh, and it's got bought a ca- a ca- the kit came with a camera with yeah. a, a microphone it, uh, audio and it came up with this which is a handle that has uh, all the uh, operating stuff like you know for starting video and starting now, fo- and shooting photos people, and, and also uh, it shoots photos it's a photo camera yeah. as well a lot of people are doing podcasts using a camera similar to that no that that is the go-to camera right now so yeah. uh, are you going to go from the brios to uh, uh, t- to that no, not for not for this, not for this show. I'm not even using a Brio on this show. Oh, well, uh, I don't know what you're using uh, at the moment. I'm using a razor. Oh, uh, a razor. Yeah, uh, like a phone. No, that's the name of the company that makes the camera, Razor. Oh, okay. They're very that's, well known. They're very yeah, well known. I didn't know that one. And they have a new uh, version of of their of this camera that's 4K now. Yeah. But the reason I don't really, I have 4K if I want to use it, I'll do it with the, with the Logitech Brio, yeah. uh, you know, but uh, that's well, the... Well, uh, the, uh, the other, I don't know how long of a piece you're going to record, but there's a thing called an Atomos, which uh, you can uh, record into, and this way uh, you can continue, you can have a lot of memory, and so you don't have to go between chips... Uh, the Atomos has a screen. I've got, I've got seven hours worth of video available to me on this because I put in a 256 chip. Wow. You know, I don't, what do I need that for? This is, this is, Sony is the go-to camera now for this sort oh, of thing. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it, uh, it, 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 
It cost me a bit, but I had some cash, so I decided to pay for it. Well, I'm a Nikon fanboy, but I don't do any video at all. And last night, uh, I got taken to school. Um, I came in third. Oh, good. Uh, I'm glad that uh, happened. You know, uh, the, the category was mm -hmm. journalism. And so I put out a fantastic photo of, uh, of a, uh, an MMA fight. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, one other guy who came in second, his mm -hmm. photo was people rolling in the mud. Mm -hmm. And the guy that came in first was some firefighters extricating somebody from a, from a traffic accident. Well, that guy won best in show and number one uh, in, the, in the journalism thing. I came in third. Uh, so I barely placed. Uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens when it goes to all the major clubs. But, uh, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. So now I'm going to buy a scanner, a police scanner. Mm -hmm. And I'm figuring that if it if it isn't bleeding, it isn't leading. So, and I like the journalism uh, uh, competitions. Mm -hmm. So, um, with the police scanner, I figured I would listen for train wrecks, uh, uh, cars that hit trains, uh, anything that is well, is. If you want a train wreck, just to photograph this show. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Oh, um, you know, to, uh, you're talking about shows, you know, on April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, uh, your friend Bob Rubin is doing a show in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So uh, I alerted uh, a bunch of people, uh, including Ray and Brian and Alan, and I think we're all going to go. But I'm wondering if it's an April Fool's joke and there's really no show. The, I have no idea, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But... Uh... Um, he was in the hospital for a while. Uh, Bob? Yeah. Ruben? He had some kind of medical problem. Oh. Yeah. I, I didn't know. Yeah. And he's, I think he's been living in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. married to a Canadian woman. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but he seems to be, in, he's going to be in San Francisco on the first. Well, I'll, I'll find that next time I talk to, uh, uh Bubbles. Bubbles would know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Where's he playing? Uh, the Hearth, which only has 60 seats. It's a, uh, it's a uh, pub on uh, Gary Street, uh, 10th and Gary. Yeah, it's not exactly and, a big uh, show. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and you don't pre-buy the tickets. You just reserve them uh, on Facebook. You, you go to this gal's, um, uh, Meredith uh, Godfrey is uh, mm -hmm. one of the other comedians. And so you just... Uh, text Meredith on Facebook and yeah. say I'm going to be there, and that's that's all you got to do. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let our people in here. There are a bunch of them waiting to come in, so oh. you know it'd okay. be nice if we uh, if we let them uh, all uh, pop in here. And uh, let me get rid of your name there. And uh, here is uh, Charlie Wallace, and uh, uh, there's uh, there's uh, uh, Kevin. <coughs> And there is uh, Brian, and uh, uh, hello, Alan. And he yeah, hello. I said Charlie already, right? Yeah. At the same place we saw Bubs. We saw Bubbles there, too, at the hearth. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. it's a small place, but it's, it's nice. Is, is that where we went? Yes, that that's where home? we went. Oh, yeah, okay. That's where we went. Yeah. But anyway, don't tell me about a show I can't go to, so, you know. Uh, I'll take a couple of pictures. Huh? You can still go. It's only April 1st. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Hop on time. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, uh, I can't figure out why my, uh, well, I don't care. My uh, uh, thing isn't, my, my Zoom isn't centered in the center, but I can't center it. It, it does it all on its own, so... I don't, you mean the position of your uh, of your placement in the you no know? the placement of everybody is a whole big chop at the side here so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it looks good right. looks fine well, it's not coming through that way on either uh, yeah. YouTube or yeah. this yeah. looks like Alan wants to yes. say something. Alan has his hand up he's ready to contribute <clears throat> yeah I just I just want to go over something that Phil brought up in the first half hour 
This oh, is like the, like the State of the Union. We have yeah. to go on for a half hour, and then we have the rebuttal <laughs> side from Alan. He's got to correct and talk about all his stuff when the show starts. No, no, no. Right, Alan, he's he's just like reading the news. <clears throat> just one subject. So, um, First Republic Bank, the one that was in the news recently, mm-hmm. Bill Economics 101 minus uh, 102. I didn't know you so, could that high. 11 U.S. banks mm-hmm. contributed $30 billion to First Republic Bank today to keep them alive. The stock yep. market took off like crazy. That, all these banks that you say are going to be failing are not. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, are they going to bail out Credit Suisse? Uh, that's already been done, and that's not our country anyhow. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 um, the U.S. bailed them out. The Swiss government bailed them out yesterday. <laughs> mm. And guess what? Guess who they did business with for a long time? Uh huh. Trump. Yeah. 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 Uh, now they're going to have to look into Trump's laptop, Trump's son's laptop. Yeah. Why? I'm joking. Oh, because oh. he always brings up that they're going to go after oh, Hunter Biden. Uh, hey, you know, they're, uh, <laughs> they're subpoenaing the people that work at Mar a Lago. I guess if you're a uh, uh, a uh, waiter or uh, uh, or uh, you know tennis pro, uh, you're going to get subpoenaed over the documents. Right, because they had some of them. They just walked through the house and grabbed whatever classified documents they wanted. Yeah, the Dow went up 372 points today. Oh yeah, and, and you know why? Amazon because stock, the banks. My Amazon stock went up pretty uh, pretty nice. But, because of banks. By the way, by the way, the Fed is ran by Jerome Powell, so you got his last name. That's it, Powell. It's the Fed. Okay. okay. And Trump appointed him, and Biden reappointed him. So right. Okay. Well, thanks for clarifying that. They still didn't say Colin Powell. No, I didn't no. say Colin. But uh, no, he, didn't. he just said Powell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I couldn't remember Jerome. It's but, okay. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, that's what that's what you do when you're when you're on Jeopardy and you can't remember the person's first name. You just say, "Who is Powell?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so Brian, are you going to get a Bulgatti? No. Why? Well, I, I, uh, about two years ago, you, t- you told me about a stock called Danner, and I looked at it yesterday. And if I was smart, I would have listened to you. Uh, because now it's at 242 when you told me it was at 120, and uh, it was I, at it was at 80 when they per, when they acquired our company. Yeah, that was a a, a while back. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I would have done that, I would have had a McLaren. And <laughs> yeah, they do pretty good. That that's our that's the company that acquired us. Yeah, yeah. I, it was uh, a pretty good performance. Yeah. No. Well, anyway, let's see what uh, Charlie's T-shirt says tonight. Oh. That's a horrible idea. What time? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so I'm a little, little tired tonight. A little energy waxed, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So you guys, you guys can talk. Go ahead. I just want to. I want to hear what you have to say. Well, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's silence. <laughs> well, I'm all winded from running out of running away from the lightning tonight. Oh, really? Oh. You had lightning out there? Yeah, we had to cancel the game last two games because of lightning. Oh, sissies. Yeah, yeah, we were the aluminum bats. Yeah, we're gonna go out there with lightning around. Yeah, yeah they, they they like they like their what softball is it? Yeah, yeah, but they don't really want to do anything about it because you know it's not. How come they pitch underhanded to, uh, with softball and overhanded with hardball? Because they're a bunch softball of girls. Game. What? 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 Charlie? Softball's a hitter's game. It's supposed to hit, so they make it easy to hit. So they. Lob the ball up to you. Oh, I see. It's a hitter's game. Okay. Yeah. And baseball is a pitcher's game, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, but ba- I'm getting upset with baseball, though. Why? Because they're making too many changes. Like, what changes are they making? You they, the the one, but they made the bases larger. Why? They did that over the winter? 
Yeah, they start wow. this year. They wow. made the bases like an inch around charge larger, something stupid. In all the and, way around, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the designated hitter, all this stuff. My grandfather played baseball. All the pitchers were, were the best hitters, you know? Well, that doesn't would, make, see, that doesn't make a lot of sense because the great thing about baseball was how geometrically perfect the game was. Yeah. And it was always said if you were to change things by an inch or whatever, that eventually, yeah. that that would not be good. That would throw the whole game off. The problem with sports is it's so greedy and it's a business, but people think it's sports. And they're changing these rules and all these stats and all these things. Like football. Football added one more game this year, this last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah. guess what? All these records were broken. Mm -hmm. All these rushing records, these touchdown records, all, everything was broken this year. And it's ridiculous. Now, yeah, it, what, sorry. What does the larger base do uh, to, uh, in, as far as changing uh, the, the game, uh, other than making it easier to see? But what, what, is, what, what changes does that larger why, well, base? Why did they make it? I mean, does that change anything about the game? Does it make it more exciting or anything like that? It's, it's shorter for left-handers to get to the yeah. first base. <laughs> and oh, it's supposed to be a safety move for going around the bases so that yeah. they have to, you know. Well, how's it, it, wait a minute, how's it a safety move? It's a, it's a shorter turn, things like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, pick off, the pick off is different, too. That yeah. Like, they only allowed two pitches to pick off. You know, uh, the pick off. two attempts to pick off. What's a pick off? Well, when the when the you know the the pitcher is trying to keep a guy from stealing first to second, yeah, they only get two attempts to do that. The third one, they have to push the guy over to third to the next base. Well, when did they change that? They changed it this summer. This was this winter. <laughs> and you know about the clock, of course. Yeah, the pitching clock. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't mind is the pitching clock. I have to go get a kid in a shower. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, they got the pitching clock. What? What, what like, mean you have to go get a kid in the shower? I guess Adrian. It, it's a, it's a dad thing. You got to shove the kid in the shower. Yeah, oh, I see. probably won't go. Pitching yeah. clock is that like the the basketball shot clock? Yeah. Yeah, you have to you have to pitch the ball within a certain amount of time, or they call a strike. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. What? All of a sudden, the umpire will go strike. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, you wait, wait, you, that doesn't make sense. The, batter, the pitcher's the one that's not pitching the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, all he has to do is not pitch the ball, and there'll be three oh, strikes before you know it. It's, it's, be whatever, a it's a penalized, penalized against the pitcher, yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so he gets a ball, I guess, yeah. Well, as the only one here with a sports Emmy, I think that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I can see why Brian's upset. It, it makes, they were saying that it, it cuts, I don't know, 30 minutes off the game or but something. Yeah, the games were running longer and longer. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the thing with baseball is it's a strategy game. And sometimes yeah. you just have to sit there and go with it, you know. That's yeah. why the designated hitter sucks because a lot of the strategy was the pitcher coming up and bunting the runner along and all that stuff. Yeah. You don't have to do that anymore. And sometimes yeah. they'd throw in the DH or take the DH out, you know. You know. And now they have the guy on. I don't know if you. Sorry, when I left, but they have yeah. the guy on second base and extra innings to make the games go quicker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they that, did oh. that. Yeah, wow. it's like it's almost like softball. Really? Where are yeah. you? You're softball. Don't you watch baseball? I stopped watching baseball years ago. So. Oh really? Yeah. That's why yeah. he's an umpire. He doesn't watch. <laughs> Come on, Tony. This is this is the takeover. We're taking over the show from Alex. So he's oh, talking to a I can't watch. Alex, when they they go talk to tonight. extra innings. That's fine with me. When they go to extra innings, Brian, with that ghost runner, I just turn the TV off. I can't yeah, watch I it. Hate that. I just say, forget. I'm done. It's a goodbye. Pretty soon, pretty soon they're gonna have the I mercy. Hate that. Takes the mercy rule is coming. Yeah, yeah mercy <laughs> rule. Yeah. But have you watched any of the 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 world the world baseball thing? Oh, I just watch it last I, night. Yeah, it was knee out, I heard. Yeah. What's in the, the celebration. Wait a minute. My yeah, brother's pitch is the guy had Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What's Who blew his knee out? The closer for the Mets. Yeah. Playing for what? <laughs> Venezuela or somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Puerto Rico, I think. Puerto Rico, whatever. Up and up and the down. game, and they all ran out to the, <laughs> yeah. the mound and started jumping up and down, and he blew his knee out. I was watching it. One of the worst <laughs> knee. Injuries, carry around. Man. and he's out for a year at least. Oh, a year. Yeah, eight months minimum. Million dollar contract. 
Tony's a Mets fan. I'm a Yankee fan. My brother's a diehard Mets fan. He used to have tickets. He's pissed. I woke him up last night. He had to get up early. He says, I says, yo, Greg, you up? He goes, what do you want now? Don't you ever sleep? Diaz is hurt. He says, no way. Your line is, okay, tell me when you get up in the morning. And he got up. He says, you know, you're right. He got hurt. I said, I saw him carrying him off. He, saw him. he could be it done be. For, for life. Yeah, yeah, it's a minimum eight one. Well, wait a minute. You yeah. said World Baseball. What is this all? Yeah, Alex, it yeah. wasn't even like the regular. I, you would have thought they won the World Series. It was a bullshit thing in like yeah. April. Yeah. I mean, uh, in March. It's an extra it, it, league. It really, it's yeah, like it's really weird. Started. It's really weird because they have this World Baseball League that, I don't know, it just comes and goes. But they, it's, it's playing now just while all the baseball teams in America are in spring training. Not so a lot of a lot of the players don't want to play in the World Baseball League because, or this this it's like a World Cup almost for baseball. They they don't want to play on that because they don't want to get injured, and so so they're playing this but, little tournament before the regular season starts. So but are they paying big by money Major League Baseball to try and get the world involved in? It. Yeah, are they, exactly. Are they paying big money to these guys like the Saudis are to the golfers? Oh, man, that's a different thing, totally. I'm sure Saudis pay everything more than they need. <laughs> yeah. totally. But, uh, but the, the the noise and the celebrations just for base hits and everything, these crowds go crazy. That yeah. uh, the Latin America. So, okay, we're done. Hey, Alex, what do you want to talk about? Hey, keep it, keep, 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 hey, keep it, Wayne, keep it, yes, yes. keep it up. Wait, Wait, a, Alex keep. showed me his camera. I saw <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. before yeah. I signed in here. Yeah. 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 Um, 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 yeah you know, I mean, you it, know it, what, it, Bill. Well, Alex wait a minute, answer. Alex. Talk. Oh well, uh, forget it. I I, I, was pl- I was planning on talking, but you know it's okay. It's not it's not my show anymore. It's yours. Go ahead. What? <laughs> uh, why don't we just? What was so important? What was so important? Let me hear. Yeah, now I'm curious. I want to know hey, what was more important than anything I have to say. That was Phil. Yeah, I can imagine. No, I'm, I'm asking you. I, oh, all, I want, all I said to him was you started talking. He talked over you. Oh, okay. Phil, tell me what's so important. Uh, I was uh, bringing Wayne up to uh, up the snuff here that we had uh, 30 seconds of camera uh, on the show with you. <laughs> and Wayne said he'd watch that. And, uh, uh-huh. and, so and what we, did we accomplish by asking that question? I, I just, you know, was informing the panelists, uh, you know, that weren't there. Well, a lot of times when they there. come on, they know what's going on. You yeah. Know? yeah, especially Wayne. He's a smart guy. Well, Wayne's a Absolutely. smart guy. He can understand. I think it's words, right, Wayne? I, you, you, I think so. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. So, so let's say you're pissed off. <laughs> well, I'm not pissed off. All right. It's just I never get to talk on my own show. That's all I'm saying. You know. We should keep a, uh, you know, one of those little meter things, those stopwatches, and see actually how much time you do get. Not a lot. You know, because part of the thing is, is that I'm running a program here, and I'm really supposed to bring you guys out, not impose myself on the show. You know? That's what a good host on uh, does. Well, that's a good host. Yeah. I mean, you'd be a terrible interviewer. Yeah. Because you can't shut that's up. That's everybody off. Yeah. Well, yeah. He no, but he... on the phone, too. You should let him do an interview. That would be funny to be talking about it. It's kind of like dead air. I, you know, if there's there's an awkward silence, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like I have to fill that void. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't have to. It's video. People could just sit here and not say anything. Watch. Nobody say anything for the next 30 seconds. Of course, it's not going too well with the people listening to the uh, audio-only yeah, broadcast Alex of it. Alex violated But, uh, but, uh, but you thing. know, screw, screw you, buy a TV set, okay? <laughs> yeah. What? You see? Everybody's just kind of, it's a very mellow show. It's just mellow. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> Okay, where are we? They're so, all on drugs. So we're back to this guy who screws his knee up and won't be able to play for a year. God, that's yeah. got to really piss you off. I mean, if you did it in the regular season, you go, yeah. well, that's the breaks, you know? Mm-hmm. Or is a, that's a pun, but the, that's the breaks. And and you get on with your life. But when it's just for an like an exhibition game or something exactly. down in Venezuela. Not, you would have thought they won the World Series last night. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, it, it's sort of like the Olympics because it's like the – but the timing is bad because the good – the really good 
American players, they don't want to play because they have the baseball season starting right now. So they want to make sure they don't get injured. So there's a couple giant, there's a Giants pitcher that is one of the top pitchers and he's not going to play in it. So you have a lot of other, you know, the next level down pitchers. And then America, the USA doesn't do too good because a lot of their players don't want to play. But then these other players from the other countries, they really want to play for their country. So they will play. So yeah. we're going to get an Olympic is baseball in the Olympics. Yes, like, there is baseball is, in the Olympics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 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 So yeah. why wouldn't they? You know what? They don't have any the Olympics there? anymore, and I stopped watching the Olympics when they stopped this. Hmm. They don't have ballroom dancing anymore. <laughs> now, now they, it's called dancing with the stars. No, no, they did have ballroom dancing yeah. in no, the really? Olympics. Really? Yeah, they did. Yeah. But they don't anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's over at the gay Olympics. I don't know, but, you know, it's certainly not at the... Uh... Well, will I get in trouble the from the gays pride. with that joke? The was pride anything, Olympics. Was anything homophobic about that joke? I don't think no, so. Yeah, sure. I don't think so. Yeah. Everything's homophobic. Hmm? Everything is. Well, uh, yeah, it is, you know. Uh, so, so anyway, uh, let me see here. So uh, we were talking <clears throat> earlier about, I, I was mentioning this uh, jet, you know, this drone that went down into the Black Sea, and I just said, who cares, you know? I mean, they're saying, oh, that was an irresponsible act on Russia's part. What's irresponsible about it? You know, it's just a goddamn drone. They call them unmanned drones for a reason. There's no human being in there. And then Phil said what my wife said, well, that was like a $4 million drone. Well, Damn. does it all come down to money? Huh? Yeah. Oh, gee, it's such a shame. Mm -hmm. Well, then don't build drones that can get shot down. <laughs> well, uh, They're slow moving. I just think, you know, we have so many non-stories now. The biggest non-story that we have going on, and it's on every night, uh, uh, in Chicago today, another plane almost missed hitting another plane that was ready to take <laughs> off. And I'm looking at Marjorie and going, so what's the story? Let me know when they hit each other, then that's a story. But the fact they didn't hit each other isn't a story. Right. Am I right or wrong? It's a non huh? yes. Well, most it's of the stories... Most of the stories are in the planes with people refusing to give up their seat so that other couples can sit together and uh, they're, they're making a big... They should have booked their seats together then. Uh, well, sometimes I guess you can't or you oh, don't well, get then, an opportunity. Then, like on then find a flight where you can. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, yeah. you know, yes, this yes. is another non-starter. Je uh, Jeff is, is, Jeff is yeah, saying... That non-starter is a starter. Because often, if somebody's taking your kid or you're taking your your grandmother and you want to sit together, oh well, the, yeah, but that? this is the this is not the non-starter we were talking about. We were talking about the the the, the, the planes almost crashing into another plane. Oh, I know, yeah, but I, not quite doing it. No, there was but, one plane, by the way, that was flying over the other plane. It looked like they were going to screw each other, <clears> you know. Uh, but, uh, but the, I, you know, that, that, that's what bothers me about the news these days. All these non-news stories, mm -hmm. you know. I wish they would stop talking about the, the near misses, have an actual accident. Yeah, that's what over. I'm saying, an actual accident. You then report <laughs> it. You show this horrible crash. You see a smoldering plane. Oh, God, look at that. But when it's uh, like they almost hit each other, you guys yeah. must have really loved when people were jumping out of the well, World no, Trade Center. But they're Center doing this. They're do, no, they're doing this every night now. And the fact is that in a given year, there were like a lot of near misses. Yeah. Okay. And and granted, they should be doing something about them, but they're not. You know. But mm -hmm. you know, I just I just don't see how that's a uh, how that's a news story. Okay. Hello there, Ray. How are you? What is Good. that? What oh, is... Sorry about nice, my cam. Nice color. Oh, boy, wow. what a sunburn. you really been sitting out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I got to fix that. Your mic is too loud, too. Oh, you ready to go to the doctor? Yeah. Oh, well, God, you probably yeah. need to yeah, click yeah, you have a them. green screen. That's yeah, how Tony please. looked last week. Yeah. Is my, mic, is my mic still too loud? No. Okay. No. All right. 
I'll the fix color, it. Your face is too white, though. Like too white? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah. Well, you turn off your green. You, you probably have your green screen set to go. Turn that there off. You there go. you go. Much better. See, that's what it was. I know the uh, Logitech software got screwed up somehow. There. Uh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, on that. Yeah, you know. Who cares? We like it when people when that happens because people love this show when there are technical problems. We suddenly get more viewers when there are technical problems. It's exciting. Yeah. Like, you should see the ratings on Jack's show. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Does he have... If, if he has, when he has on. four callers, hey, hey, listen, I, I, three I, I, listeners. Yeah. I want to thank somebody. <laughs> I want to thank Amy, Okay. Because she went over to Jack's house yesterday, I guess she because she was fed up with the problems. Yeah. And she went over and she helped solve them. She was calling me, asking me for you know advice and so on and so forth. And she and her, I think, son went over there and started solving it and then showed Jack exactly what to do. Okay. Oh, I, I got sad news. What? Last night after the show, <clears throat> excuse me, a bunch of us do an after show on 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 Skype it stays on mm -hmm. yeah hey Rob yeah. um and oh. and and uh, Jack got on the show and readjusted a bunch of settings yes he did on the after show and Charlie's like don't touch those things everything's working good don't touch so if he doesn't get on tonight we'll it, know it's because well I think it's because he does you know, I go in there, I set the whole thing up so it works, and then he just, he, he, he plays well, with he it. he messed with it last night. He was playing with this and playing with that, and I'm like, If it, it works, you don't, Alex, you don't change you anything. We have a yeah, special I know. guest. I know, from the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen. And boy, have you got a good picture. What kind of camera yeah. are you using, Rob Alfano? It's the, uh, it's my MacBook Pro from 2015. <laughs> Wow, it really has a great camera. That looks no, terrific. I don't think it's a camera. I think he's looking younger and his hair <laughs> darker and everything. Yeah, what happened? How much have you We all need to retire. And he, he's getting to look like a Filipino, too. So it's, yeah. <laughs> it's all that pork and gobo. Oh, yeah, Lechon. I'll know uh, you, I know you've really gone Philippine when you wear like those, uh, those thin shirts with the undershirt under it. <laughs> you know? The, the Italian... The Italian T-shirts, yeah, with the, the, the the wife beaters, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wife beaters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all that balut. How's everything nah. going out there in uh, in in the Philippines? Great. Uh, we just bought a piece of property down in uh, Batangas, mm -hmm. the province of Batangas, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's right now I own seven coconut trees and a tamarind tree, and uh, and it's just all. Uh, Overgrown right now. Mm -hmm. Was and, it on the water? And then you're going you're gonna to build the house, right? Yeah. We're, we're, we're interviewing contractors right you, now. You always like going through that process, don't you? Oh, yeah. Of building a house. This, well, this is the first one we're building custom. Every other one has been you you buy from a you know a builder who you... You, you pick a, a, a floor you plan. pick a floor plan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is all manual because you have to pick your own lot. And then, or you know, where you want to live, purchase the mm -hmm. property, and then find a builder and tell them what you want. And, and you also have to shoot all the tigers on the property. So. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those here yet, but uh, I understand that snakes are a thing. Um, mm. You know, lots of. Are you on the water? Are, are you no. on the water? No. No, we're an hour from the beach. But they have snakes out at where there isn't water. All of the Philippines. Oh yeah, are there are plenty water. of snakes. Hmm? had nothing to do with snakes. I just wanted to know the proximity of the land. Anyway. So, well, yeah, it's, it's in Batangas in a, in a town called uh, Lipa. And uh, it's the third highest elevation in the Philippines. And one of the reasons I chose it was for that. It's about five or six degrees on average cooler. Here we're about, in, I'm living in Bulacan. And here is about maybe 20 to 30 feet above sea level. Mm-hmm. And so there, there's a nice, cool, cooler temperatures there. Also, there's no chance of really no chance of flooding, which is another thing. The only thing you live with is like everywhere else, you live with the threat of like tsunami, hurricanes. 
or um, sort of like you guys do out west. How about political insurrection? That's a possibility. Uh, so yesterday I had my first crazy experience here. Yeah. In the Philippines since I've Wait been a minute, you've been in the Philippines and this is only your first crazy experience? You're doing okay. So, I mean, anybody from America who complains about the DMV, mm -hmm. there's nothing to complain about. Okay. <laughs> DMV, when, next time you go, mm -hmm. walk in the front door, get on your hands and knees, and kiss the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Philippines license, driver's license yesterday. We got there at 10.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and um, we left at 5.30 at night. <laughs> and picture it like you think about DMV, right? Mm -hmm. It's called LTO here, Land Transportation Organization, LTO mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. DMV. Um, picture the ticket booth at Yankee Stadium or any stadium, mm -hmm. right? And outside of that, you've got rows of what you would see at DMV, just seats. But they're all outside. So they're nice and cool in the ticket booth, and you sit outside under these makeshift awnings. And it was 91 degrees here yesterday. Nice. And it's packed. Mm -hmm. And you go from line to line to line to line to sit, go here, go to this window, sit down. Mind numbing. They've but actually they they've actually developed the pain in the ass factor at the DMV. You do the the LTO. I mean, when I tell you, <laughs> it, it, the DMV, going to the DMV in the U.S. is a day at the beach compared to here. Hey, it, Rob. It, <laughs> unbelievable. I was so frazzled when we left there. You're sitting outside. It's hot. They mm -hmm. blow these hot fans at you. And then you're in the city, so you smell all day long. You're sniffing fumes from the trucks and the cars. It's like Manhattan in, in that regard. Um, do they have do they have a lot of regu do they have a lot of regulation about that over there or not? Regulation on on emissions on. from cars. <laughs> they have a lot of regulations about a lot of things, but nobody follows any of them. It's, oh, okay. Did you bring your Corvette? No, my Corvette would get destroyed here. Yeah. Are you kidding me? If you if you've never driven until you've driven here. So what did you do I with your never, Corvette? Did you sell it? I sold it. I, I sold it the year before I. I sold it a year ago. I bought a Tesla, and I sold my Tesla uh, before I moved here. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't even drive my Tesla here. My Tesla would would revolt because there's no you put on autopilot, and it would be you. The driving here is is I've gotten used to it. I was scared of it for a while, but now I'm I'm fine. It's mm -hmm. just a different animal. You there's no laws or no rules. So you know something. I got to tell you something. I got I got to tell you something that really I brought it up to Marjorie today because we went down to B and H to go get this camera and we took a, a, a you know a lift down there and we're in. She went on a long way around and whatever, but we're in traffic and it's just geez, every street's just stalled. People don't move their asses driving now. When I first moved to New York, the best drivers in the world were New York drivers because they, they, they were able to negotiate the street with just great al alacrity, I guess is the term I'm looking for. Uh, they, they just were able to move around and dodge each other. Nobody ever hit anybody, never saw anybody hit anybody. And now they just poke along here. Well you, you know, know what I saw was the biggest difference between driving in New York and driving in California is uh, left-hand turns. In New York, when the light changes, everybody moves exactly at the same no, time. Well, here we can't turn on the left. I, I, well, in, no, no, when, when in New York light. City. In New York City. Oh, there's okay. a stoplight. You can't turn right on a stoplight. In California, you can. And I consider yeah, that a good stop. idea. Well, uh, if you're in a left-turn lane... Uh, you everybody can't turn moves. left. You can't well, it used to, you know, in the in the 70s, you could turn left. No, you and couldn't. You never could turn left in Manhattan. You could in Queens. But During you can't certain in hours Manhattan. of the day, you can. Midday, you can. They they stop it in in the rushes, like morning and afternoon. 
that you can't turn left. But there are places in Manhattan where in, in the Philippines, in Philippines, no, no in, in in New York, New York. In, in Manhattan. No, you could. Used be, oh. I used to drive in every day. I'm trying there to remember. There were hours where it said no left turn, no left turn during these hours. Oh, no left turn. Period. But I'm like talking no about no left turn. Like no, you make a left no. one from Seventh Avenue. No, but what we're talking about Manhattan making a seven. turn on a red light. No, no, not on a red light. What oh, I'm saying is the light turns green, yeah. and everybody in that lane moves at exactly the same time in New York, whereas in California, they're like lemmings. One moves, then the next, then the next, and then the light changes. In New York, if you don't move with the, with the whole crowd of traffic, they'll yeah. hit you. And if yeah. they hit you, you deserve it because you're stupid. And and that's the way it is in New York, right? <laughs> well, no. Yeah. All I know is that when I first moved to New York, I had to get used to stopping uh, at, a, at a red light and not turning left. Make a right on red. And not a, turning a, right. A, a right on, on, on red. And yeah. that I found very disconcerting. You know, because in California, the traffic moved faster because people would do that. And they say, Marjorie said to me, well, yeah, but you'll have more accidents. And I went, no, we didn't have more. Did we, we, don't have, even have, do we, we don't even have lights here and there's no accidents. There are no lights. <laughs> well, you know something? I often said in a true, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a true free society, uh, uh, there'd be no stoplights. There are no stoplights. You know, people would works. just be courteous to each other. And that's the way it works. But <laughs> really? I will tell you this. Yes, but I will tell hey. you this. What I appreciate now about red lights that I never could appreciate before when I lived in the States is that it gives you a few moments of taking your eyes off the road and not thinking. You could, Your mind can wander, this and that. When I get in the car to drive somewhere, if it's five minutes, it's okay. If it's an hour, that's an hour of constant paying attention to what you're doing. There's no one on cell phones here while you're driving because you can't. You, you, you come up to an intersection and it might not be a four-way intersection, it might be a six-way intersection. And you've got cars coming and trikes and scooters coming around you, through you. The other thing you can't count on, if I'm driving down a highway, not a highway, let's call it a, a major roadway where you got a double yellow mm -hmm. line. Yeah. And you've got two lanes here, two lanes here, and traffic's moving in the opposite way. I can pretty much count that if you're coming toward me, you're not going to wind up in my lane. That doesn't work that way here. Yeah. At any time, somebody coming at you could cross in front of you mm -hmm. and even get in your lane because they want to pass the slow-moving traffic yeah. on that side. So you are always hyper-focused when you drive here. And that's why in the beginning... I hated driving here. It was the biggest thing. I was like, oh, my God. I let my wife drive. But I've been here. <laughs> what happened to him? Everybody... to it, oh. and I've gotten quite good at it. But it is tiring. Yeah. Yeah. It, we just froze up for a second. I don't know why. But, you know. Mm. Uh, there are quite a few drop frames tonight. Well, okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I... Uh, uh, yeah, I just how do how do you you, you seem to like the Philippines a lot? You seem to be enjoying loving it so it. far. Loving it. The what? people here are amazing. The even yesterday, I was the only one who was unhappy at DMV or LTO. Well, you're pro you're probably the only person who was Caucasian who was there too. <laughs> that is right, and, and the only person who was who was upset at having to sit there all day. Everybody else, what I have found here are as the, these people. The best word to describe them is dear. They're very dear. They yep. smile. They're polite. They go out of their way to be friendly. Mm -hmm. And even with all that, get up, sit down, go here, go there. Everybody is just, there's not anybody to say, I was already on that line. If you think I'm going to get, there's none of that. That's all the opposite of New York. Everybody call him stupid. <laughs> Alex, that's what they were saying. <laughs> You'd be like, he's stupid. <laughs> listen, I, I listen. Uh, you know, um, my friend Shecky, before he passed, uh, uh, stopped driving, and the reason he stopped driving was, and he had a friend who started to drive him around, is that he said, "I just can't stand the drivers out there anymore. It's just driving me nuts, and it's just it's it's hell out there." And he said, I just think as I get older, it's a little more difficult to drive under those conditions. And so he stopped driving. And I felt the same way. I mean, should I go out and start learning how to you know, get a car and 
start learning how to drive it? And no. Why? I'm going to drive here in this town? Jeez, all It might be nice. You know what I told Chuck? Yeah, it would be nice to drive. My brother hates driving here now. You know what's nice to drive, he said, my brother says, when you leave New York and if you went upstate, he went upstate with his girlfriend, where it's more open. Here, it's like a mosh pit. They're cutting you off. They're right around there's your no ass, reason. Right? There's no reason to take a car, and if you're going to take a car, let someone no, else you, let you, someone else drive it. You, you can know? take an Uber somewhere or mass transit. You know, you can get what you have. But to you go. were living in the country, uh, uh, Rob. So I mean, you really weren't feeling penned up, and you know that. You mean when I lived in Virginia? Yeah, it might have been a little bit nicer, right? Or people maybe weren't as nice, but you see very it, nice. So. No, I mean where I lived it was beautiful. It was it was I kind of where I'm going to be living in the mountains. I'm going to be living in a valley. Yeah, um, just like I was living in the Shenan. Whatever, every yeah, all of a so sudden. A, but you get yeah. a lot of road rage, right? Yeah. Which you don't get. Yeah. There is no road rage. You get on a highway. It takes two two and a half hours to get where we're where mm -hmm. we're moving to. And I was I went the other day to to sign the papers and pay the money for the land. Yeah. And you get on a highway and the speed limit's a hundred kilometers, which is about fifty miles an hour somewhere around there, right? And you can get, there's two lanes, uh, three lanes. Left lane is for passing. People will do 75 kilometers in the left lane. Well, that's Nobody's the way, on their no, ass. That, that's, no, no, flashing lights. That's the way it is in Europe. I, if, uh, if you drive through France, you learn that if you don't intend to go over 65 miles an hour, you stay in the right-hand lane. Because that's but the they slow don't do that here. But they we'll only the they only allow you to use any amount of speed you want to, if you get in the left lane and you're passing a car. So somebody's in the left lane going like 150 miles an hour and he's passing every car. Yeah. But that's the way it works in Europe, you know. Yeah, you're not allowed I, to pass I, I, somebody so, on, on the right side. What were you gonna say? Uh, what did you say, Brian? Uh, you're, yeah, you're not allowed to pass somebody on the right side. So if somebody's in the fast lane, you cannot pass them. If you pass them, it means that person in that fast lane is going too slow. Yeah. So, and they'll give you a ticket. In Italy, they'll give you a ticket. For yeah, that. yeah. But the really? IX used to do the speed limit in the left lane, and it used to drive me crazy because I said it, it's, it's putting people at risk. If you make people pass you on the right, uh, you know, you're, there's a potential for an accident. And, you know, she wouldn't do it. It was like California entitled. Uh, the, she was entitled to stay in that left lane. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, if you didn't, and if you didn't <laughs> like it, tough. And your point is? Yeah, well, really, yeah. it's the way it is. But all I'm it, saying is is that, uh, you know, I, it, it's nice to see if there's a country. Um, uh, you know, I, I often felt, as I said earlier, the true anarchy. If you're an anarchist, the true anarchy is not having stop signs and stoplights, and that people, through their own courtesy, will never hit each other. But what we do when we put up stoplights and we put up stop signs and we put up a bunch of rules is we take away from people their ability to try and judge for themselves what's right and wrong. Sound like a Norman Greenbaum song. Spirit in you, the know, sky. you know where that yeah. comes out? We've had a lot of traffic lights out in, because of the storms in the last week. And uh, when the traffic lights are out, people were very courteous about taking their turn and uh, allowing uh, the, the this set of cars, that set of cars. Uh, 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 there's a person here disagreeing with you. Vehemently. Yeah, but that, that yeah, like uh, Santa Moss Expressway was terrible because yeah. there's traffic okay. going down there. And now instead of having a green light where a whole bunch of people can go, no, everybody that is so backed uh, up. How about uh, how about you, Kevin? You were nodding. Yeah, I almost got T-boned on 152 yesterday. Because yeah. I Everybody treated a stop sign at Fraser Lake Road and pulled out, and this car came paralleling along, and I went, eh, I don't think she's going to stop. And I stopped in the middle of the intersection, and she came barreling through, and the passenger went, I <laughs> 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 <They> went, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, didn't I didn't mean Texas. I didn't mean Norman I didn't mean Norman Greenbaum. I meant uh, the song the song guy. Signs by the Five Man Electrical Band. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Five uh, Man Electrical Band. Band. I never even heard of them. Yes, you know the Sign song. Sign yeah. sign. Yeah. Sign, yeah. sign. Never wear a sign. Walking up the scenery. Well, well that's what you get for being a disc jockey. Yeah, uh, you know. Right? I knew which one you were talking about, though. That's what I meant. 
Hey, uh, do you think on your station you can have a workout mix uh, in the mornings? We don't take no requests. Yeah. (laughs) His station's great. Well, it's not up right now, is it? It is. It is? I don't have a studio to do live shows, but I I have a computer right over there in the corner that's running the station. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Tell tell everybody what yeah, it is. Any production or doing yeah, live shows. English you got, or in Tagalog. You got Santana on right now. <laughs> in fact, it's still um, it's still in U.S. Eastern time, and that's what it's going to stay. Okay. Cool. It's going to stay U.S. Eastern time. I'm not cool. changing it. Right, but you'll just have to figure it out. <laughs> it's for old cultures like us. Um, you know, 60s through the 80s. By the way, let's bring up idiot. let's bring up something here. That's idiot. It's idiotic. Mm-hmm. This going to daylight savings time all the time. Why we don't, don't we just go to regular to go. time all the time? Why do we have to go to daylight saving time all the time, which is not, according to nature, the real time? Don't you Hawaii like doesn't it? have don't it. You like the, don't huh? you like the sunshine later at night? I do. No, but that's fine. But here's what you do: you just say we're going to have we're not going to have daylight saving time. It's just that at a certain part of the time of the year, businesses uh, decide to have their people go in earlier. Right? Try to explain okay. it to a seven-year-old. I was just going to say daylight saving time, where it's uh, brighter at night, is dangerous for kids going to school. Try to explain it to a seven-year-old. So I picked her up today, and she says, why is this still so light out? Mm-hmm. I started, and I gave up. Okay, but you, when you took her to school, it was dark, right? Uh, no, no, but for me, it was dark. Yeah, going to Lodi, it was dark all the way to Lodi this time. Yeah, Yeah, because, but, yeah. But, yeah, she, she, cause she says, why, 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 right? And I have Well, because no... I, I used to go you know, take a car to work every day down at uh, Sirius XM, um, and uh, when we got to be this time of the year, sans daylight savings time, it started looking wonderful. The sun was coming up that time of the morning, you know? And then all of a sudden, a week later, it's dark again, you know? The days are shorter, and, uh, you know, it gets, it, was, it gets darker All I'm early. saying is, you know, this whole daylight savings time, we just fool ourselves. It was for the farmers at one point, I think. I think yeah. so, yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah, anymore because yeah, yeah. what farmers can survive anymore? <laughs> yeah, know? it was for the farming. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do it here. What? You don't, don't do, do it in Hawaii either. Yeah. It's, uh, now we're at 12-hour time difference when it's standard time. It's 13 hours ahead of you. Now we're 12 hours. It's easier for so, me, daylight savings time, because I know... It's 11.46 a.m. here. It's 11.46 p.m. there. Wait a minute. That's interesting. That's you're, you're 12 <laughs> hours. At one point, you're 12 hours ahead there. We're 12 hours ahead of you. Now, here's the interesting part about it. That's the way I was able to tell what time it was in China. It was 12 hours later. But you're not near China, are you? Oh, yeah. We're right just south of China. Oh, really? Are, are you on the dateline? Uh, is it tomorrow there? or? It is Friday morning at 11.47 a.m. Do you know how many different time zones there are in China? Oh, I know. You know the answer to this one, right? That's right, Brian. Brian got it. One. One. And you're saying, well, but such a big country. How come there aren't different time zones? Because they could have them, but they don't. Right. They don't want the country to confuse itself. You know, so they, the whole country's on the same time. But I always use, like when I call Marjorie when she go to China on a trip with her company, I just know that when it was, uh, when it's like, what is it now in New York City? It's uh, about 12 minutes of, of, ten, of 12, midnight. It's 12 minutes of 12 in China, in Beijing. Uh, so, you know. Day. Huh? It's the following day. Yes, yeah, the, the following, following day. Morning. So you, you're, on the, you're in the same t- t- time zone as China. I didn't yeah. realize that. I keep it's thinking. I, I keep thinking of the Philippines being like in the middle of the, you know, the ocean somewhere, and it's no, not. It it's just south of China. Uh, how is the it's food in the, the China Sea, mm-hmm. uh, Rob? How is the food in the Philippines? Because you're you're still doing edible fasting. Are you? Uh, food is amazing. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I it's healthy. It. Oh yeah, sure. Well, I eat a lot better. My sister-in-law is an amazing cook, and she cooks every day. Oh. So the food is, oh, 
delicious. And my wife's a horrible cook. And so I thought Filipino <laughs> food was terrible. Yeah. So I come here and I go, wow, what a difference. So how old are you now? 66. So that's the perfect time for you to retire, really. You know? I mean, uh, I just never could bring myself to retire. I never had the finances to retire. What? Because you were doing something you loved. If I was doing something I loved, I wouldn't have retired either. Well, it's something I loved, but at a place I didn't love. <laughs> you, know? now, you, you have another year before you can collect Social Security, right, Rob? Well, I'm collecting it. Oh, mm -hmm. or, already. Did you set it up in the States or in the Philippines? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I started okay. collecting in like August of last year. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, I just noticed this turned into a yeah. Rob and Phil show. Nobody else is saying anything. Well, so, uh, I, uh, I owe Rob uh, uh, a, a lot because he's the guy to turn me on to intermittent fasting. I'm down 40 pounds now. Wow, that's great. Wow, I can Dr. see it. Dr. Fung. You know, we're back to Phil monopolizing the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Happens. Good point being made, Alan. Um, you know. He's just jealous. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, no. Today I was talking with my wife, and I was talking about myself when I was young. She said, I could never have been married to you 30 years ago because, you know, you'd cheat on me and everything, you know. And I said, no, I was... Uh, I was very monogamous back then. She says, no, you were. And I said, yes, I was. I only had sex oh, with were. one person at a time. <laughs> so that's my idea of monogamy. What are you eating? Jeez, what are you eating, Brian? Oh, there was the other one. Come on, do you want to share it with the rest of us? What are you yeah, having? <laughs> what are you having? I'm going to go in the fridge. You're muted, Brian. What, what, Brian? What are you <laughs> um, just some fruit. Some fruit. Some fruit? Yeah, Brian because you lost weight by eating. You were huh? you were lost weight by eating. You were constantly eating there for a yeah, while. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going back on that. I'm going back on that diet next week. Yeah, I got to go back on a diet. I'm starting to. You know, I haven't really gained that much weight, but I haven't lost any, so I want to lose some. I want to get my my summer body back. Yeah. yeah. Feel like is it get, is it hard off. for you to diet there, Rob? Because I mean, you know, you're you're you say the food's so good. That when it's good, you got to do it, and I, I, a lot of that kind of cooking is not exactly what we'd call diet fare. That depends. You could eat a lot of vegetables. You, mm. you know, mm. you don't have to have a. But everything has rice, and you could do without the rice. Yeah, yeah that, that's same with Vietnamese. I can't do rice. I'll have meat, I'll have vegetables, but no rice, please. Hey, bro, uh, you don't Rob. like it? <clears throat> you don't like the rice, or you don't want to have it because of the. Yeah, I, I just think it's too filling. Yeah. And it's addictive. Well, I mean, it's a kind of food that you just want to eat lots of. Yeah. You know? you know, but a lot of Asian countries, they eat a lot of rice, a lot of fish and vegetables and live a long, healthy life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, they don't They don't eat. The, they used to not have fast food. But, you know, now everybody's got fast food. That's what's... Well, that's you know, what's we going. here in America are very obsessed with what we eat. And you're going to be healthy and you got to do this, you got to do that. I have so many people I know who are dying young. I was going to say, I'm, you know what, I'm not just... I want, I want a Big Mac, I'm going to eat the fucking thing. I don't even care anymore, really. Right, right. I mean, Where do we send the flowers, Tony? No, but it's a, a, I don't know that that You're, that you're one to talk, Mr. King of the Whoppers here. I think you're either pre genetically predisposed towards a long life or you're not. I think that, I think you have, I think that is true. I think it's all in genes. You know, and uh, I'm thinking about my, my friends, uh, I, you know, have been dying at rather young ages lately, you know. Um, my friend, uh, uh, Steve died young, you know, so, I mean, uh, he didn't leave, leave, live a healthy lifestyle. However, I will have to admit Was he that. overweight? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, his whole life. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think is, what do you think is young? Because maybe your young, your young thought, you know, 20 years ago was young, certain age. And now well, when you're I'm, older, I'm, I'm okay. saying that like, for instance, Steve, I think went at like 60. Wow. You know, maybe 50, 60, 61. But when you were like 40, did you think that was young? No. Well, I mean, we think of that as old, but, you know, now I, I think of young. Uh, uh, Jeff is young <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's wow. young, you know. I mean, but um, 
I you know, he was Stein. Huh? I thought he was Stein, not young. No, no, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 young, he, he's young, you know. He's what, what 77. are you now? What are you now, Jeff? 77. 77? Wow. Uh, oh, really? I, oh, then you're yeah. getting older. You'll catch up yeah. to me soon. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if I keep lying about my age, you know. Uh, but I mean, it, 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 it you know, it, it, I just think that, uh, you know, I don't know what dictates whether you're going to have a long life or not. You, you know, you take care of yourself. That's for damn sure. And you try not to do things that are unhealthy. But some people, for instance, have had trouble all their lives. Like my friend Steve was always felt guilty about his weight, which he never was able to to lose weight. And I always said to him, you know, all you have to do is maybe you're not going to lose weight, but maintain your weight and eat healthy. You know, mm. and and don't don't abuse it that way. I'm not saying go on a diet, but you constantly every time you go on a diet, you're setting yourself up to fail, which yep. is not the way to go. You know, Bill has done it a hundred times now. <laughs> Phil keeps trying. Absolutely, he's Tried. a guy. You got to give him credit for that. Yeah. yeah, and I'm doing that CrossFit, and except for the fact that I was gasping for air this morning after the fifth round of the CrossFit Metcon, uh, well, the people behind you, the people who were behind you, were also gasping for air. But that's because <laughs> uh, you just got over COVID, and you expect to be, bounce right back. Yeah, it's going to take a month or two. Oh, today I went out. I didn't have not walked in a long time. Really, I haven't walked, uh, gone outside for about a week. And I, walking was not easy for me, you know. I got to get back into the process of walking. But and it's because the weather. Well, the weather weather is starting to change, so you know. You know what'll help you with walking is stretching. Uh, you know, getting those resistance bands and things like Why that. Why is it you stretching. always have advice? Well, because I go to a personal trainer three days a week. Oh, and what is this? Am I cheating on are you? Cheating on your personal trainer by giving me his advice? Is that yeah. it? Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting free advice. But hey, uh, you keep you keep saying you don't remember what I look like. My mother sent me a picture. Uh, this is this was me when you knew me before. Yeah, I remember. I've always been wow, ugly. What a svelte young man. Oh, that was the guy I thought was an asshole. That yeah, was, yeah, that's that. Now I remember that's who him. you are. Yeah. Is that a Suzuki samurai? Oh, I was yeah. in Hawaii and on my honeymoon, and that was uh, that was oh. the shot. Well, you, and you rented a Suzuki. You rented a Suzuki, and that's why your marriage didn't last. Yeah, really. Oh, it lasted twenty three years. Really. Yeah. And when did she when did she suddenly get wise? Uh, two thousand and three or two. Oh, okay. She had all the money. Was she was yeah. she Asian too? No, Jewish. Oh that <laughs> Hey, you you want to stop a Jewish woman from having sex? Marry her. Marry her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She wasn't really Jew. She was Jewish. Yeah. 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 Like that guy from uh, Long Island. Yeah. Uh, look at look at Ray's background. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A, Pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Picture of Phil on his knees waiting for Trump to come over. Yeah, yeah with, with a tiger. And what he thought at that moment was a police dog. Were you the zoo police or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was on uh, the zoo they, patrol. They had uh, an exhibition at the, uh, at the uh, Richmond Auditorium, and the guy, uh, the trainer, said to me you want a picture with the tiger so i said sure so i knelt down put my hand on the back of the tiger that could have been the end of me i could have been just like that guy in las <laughs> vegas rent that means we wouldn't have known you hey mm -hmm. at at, at, uh, at live 105 there was one morning that yeah. uh, somebody from uh, i think uh, marine world africa usa mm -hmm. brought a cougar into the studio uh -huh. <laughs> i swear i've never been so frightened in my life because a cougar at their very nicest don't look very nice. You know, they have you this... You thought it was another kind of cougar, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. You think they sedate them? Huh? Do you think they sedate them? When uh, they... I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, uh, he looked like he was... Oh, wow, man, I got a buzz. Yeah, I don't know. You know. Anyway, oh, hey, listen... Your there... studio audience did. There's our theme. Boy, a lot of people for Thursday night. This is amazing. Now, thank you, Phil. We appreciate it. 
Uh, we for also sure. appreciate uh, Kevin anytime he calls. And the same thing goes for Brian and, of course, uh, Alan. Uh, we got uh, we got Charlie Wallace, uh, the inimitable Charlie Wallace, who we all feel sad for because he has to live down there in Texas. Uh, and uh, Tony, thank you for calling tonight, as well as Jeff, as well as Wayne. Uh, always nice to just have you here, Wayne, because it's terrific. And hey, Ray, welcome. great. Hey, Rob, anytime you want to call, please do it. I mean, I know you forget because you the time difference, you know, because... Yeah. Here, hey, here it's like one, one here, here it's like Rob. midnight, and out there in the Philippines no. it's 1956. One, one question for Rob: Do you still use the same phone number? No. No, I have a Philippines phone number now. Uh, you can text me on that number. I'm keeping it until I can yeah. wean myself off all of the okay. two-factor authentication stuff for banks. Sure. Yeah. All anyway, right. anyway, I gotta Thanks. go. Uh, everybody give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you there they go ladies and gentlemen that's our citizen panel okay that's it for tonight uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same station he will be here with a little program called the intersection and you can call him at Skype on GabNet Live I'll see you again tomorrow night same time same station in life in the meantime as always if you see her Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.